Hello fellow RVers, this is Gary with uh, Rough Road RV Life and uh, this is our water heater which had stopped working. It would not light. Couldn't hear gas going through it. Uh, so first thing I did was I kind of made, because this is like 12 years old, so I called one of the uh, like major repair centers and to get an estimate of what it would cost to replace this unit. And I was told with the part, two and a half hours labor and shop supplies, it'd be around $1,600 to put a new one in. So I said, hmm, now I am not an RV tech or an RV repair person. So, but I did call an RV tech guy that had worked on our thing before, and he said it could be this motherboard right here. So I went on Amazon, see how much that cost? It was a hundred bucks. So I said, well, I'll try that. That's a hundred dollars. So we ordered it from Amazon and it came in and we installed it. We put the new motherboard in. We also changed the uh, igniter when we were doing this because it came as a kit, came with all this stuff. And it still didn't work. It's trying. It's still not working. So we went on to YouTube and there was a guy that did a video, a very thorough, great video. We will find it will and find it link and it a below link it because, because... It was a very good one. So the other thing it could be thermocoupler. This is a fuse that could blow that could break a blow. Or it could be this right here. This is a gas valve. We've got two solenoids on it that allows the gas to flow in from here. It, it triggers this and allows gas to come through here. It ignites by the motherboard and blah, blah. It goes back and forth these wires and then it works. So I went on to Amazon to see how much a new gas valve would cost. By ordering by the part number, which I think was 73844, but I'm not sure, it ranged anywhere from $138 to $229, and all steps in between, $138, $178, $209, $229. So I went cheap. I ordered the $138 part because it was the same part number for all of them. And it came in, I think, the next day, or the two days or something like that. Did you order it from Amazon? Yeah. Was it on? Okay. Yep, I did. And it was the exact part, exact fit. There was no difference between that one and the uh, the factory gas valve that was already on there. So to replace this, you take off the, you know, the, 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 this, this one nut, quarter inch nut, undo the gas line from this, and then lose, take this off and back this, uh, the, the, this controls the airflow off. And then this piece comes out. You unplug it right here. It's got one, one wire. This is two wires, but it's one plug. Take it off. It does not come with this. We did say turn the gas off. Yes. <laughs> it does not come with the orifice. This is the orifice. It does not come with this part. So you have to take this off the old valve. So we did, and we put the old orifice back on. We hooked up the gas to it. Bolted it in. Plugged it in. Set this back to where it was. There is this part of this orifice right here. Let me finish this and then you can't see it, but there's a little quarter inch uh, nozzle that goes into this part right here. And it's got a little tiny hole that can become plugged, which it was plugged by a little grain of sand or something was in there, soot. It could be anything because it's so small. And blew it out with the air airline, which could have been what was wrong with it all along. Was that little tiny or, hole orifice opening here was clogged? So it could have been all along. I didn't need this or that, but I got them because I don't know because I'm not a tech. But anyway, it's working now. So if if your thing isn't working, the first thing I would check would be to see if that little orifice hole where the gas comes out is clogged. Just take this off and see if you can blow air through it. 
And if you can, well, then you can start going the other way around. Right. Two things that are common. Well, to check this right here, but also this can go bad. Thermocoupler. Yeah. And you can test that. Continuity. You have yeah. your meter, you put it on the continuity and you text one or the other and it should go beep through it. Or you can just look at the wire and see if it's broken, that right. wire right there. And send it. And we really weren't worried about this because we have replaced that before. Yeah. Recently. And I can look at it and see, well, it looks pretty good, really. Yeah, and, and make sure it's not corroded yeah. or anything. So yeah, those make are... sure your clips, where you clip in here, make sure they're not corroded. Make sure they're making good contact, all these clips, for these uh, four, where you plug these four in at. Make sure they're all nice and clean. Replacing this uh, motherboard was easy. You just undo the thermocoupler, unplug it, that, take that off, take that off, then it just comes off and you just put it all back together. So it's um, two quarter inch screws and a plug on the igniter. Rather. This is the igniter. But none of this was really hard to replace. It's very easy to replace. This was easy, that was easy. So it wound up, I spent 100 of this and 238. So I spent $238 and it does work fine now. And um, it was better than $1,600. So if you find this video, Gary and I, start to, um, fumbling DIY RV fixers, but there's a link below to one that can just walk you through it. But if you do find this, those are some things that might be wrong with your, your water. RV water heater. Yes. Ours is gas, gas with electric ignite. So a good 1600 for a new one. I wound up spending $238 and I might not have had to have spent the $238 if that all that was wrong with it. it originally might've been that the clock, the orifice was clogged possibly. I would say more than likely. I'm not afraid to uh, say, well. Yeah, if we'd have checked that first. Check that first or knew to check that first. But I've learned, but just in case, I still have a good gas valve and a good motherboard stored away in case I ever do have a problem. I do have a spare of each now. So I'm kind of okay with the $238 lesson on water heaters. And I didn't have to have a $1,600 lesson on a water heater. So. And we have hot water. And we do have hot water now. And it's working great. So, so that's next. our water heater experience. So next in the, tomorrow next is a toilet. Next adventure. <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned for the toilet adventure. We have adventure. the toilet tomorrow again. 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 Yeah. Two and a half years later, another <laughs> toilet. That's another story. Another story. Another video. <laughs> Take care, people. This is Gary. Happy RV travels. RV tech now. <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> but um. Definitely some RV DIY experience now. And Just then, a little bit more. And then when we got it all put in, you know, I was going to turn the gas on and try to light it. And Sharon said, let me get the dogs out of the RV first in case the RV blows up. So we didn't, legit, blow, legit. We didn't blow the RV up either. So <laughs> it was okay. No dogs were harmed, no in, dogs this, were harmed in this in this, in this project. <laughs> Take care.